whatever day it is where you are. For me, it is Thursday. And I am running some errands with my mom today. I'm just um, headed to get her right now. I've got a savers uh, donation that I need to do. I have a Amazon return that I need to take to the UPS store. A, let's see, Hobby Lobby return and a Walmart return. So we've got a lot of errands going on today. It is raining, love that. Um, <laughs> oh boy. But anyways, uh, we're gonna get some stuff done. I am very much in the process of like planning what my next week and a half looks like uh, before we come upon surgery. Um, I told you guys I was scheduled for Valentine's Day, uh, February 14th, but that they are trying to get me in uh, for surgery earlier than that. So I'm just kind of like up in the air a little bit. Um, and I don't really know quite what to plan for. Like I'm planning for February 14th, but yet I'm also planning for a little bit earlier than that as far as when I need to have things kind of wrapped up and tied up. I want to make some freezer meals to go ahead and get in the freezer for crock pots. Okay, I didn't realize I was so much out of the frame. Sorry about that. What I was saying was since I'm basically not going to be able to use my arms per se, uh, for close to at least four weeks, really six weeks, but uh, four-ish weeks is kind of the major part of it. Um, I'm going to need to figure out a way to get food on the table and uh, get some stuff done. It's going to be um, challenging for me mentally just because I am so used to just doing like that's what I love to do um, I love to be mom love to be wife love to be homemaker all the things and so that has been my job for 17 and a half years of having kids and almost 25 of you know running a household so it is going to be very very challenging for me to not do but I know that that's exactly what needs to take place in order for me to heal. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to get everything done before surgery that I know I'm gonna sit there and think about if I don't. I don't want the temptation of wanting to try and do things, of wanting to try to do things that I shouldn't be doing. And I don't wanna get frustrated that that stuff isn't done because that's my personality. I, I like to check a box, you guys know that. And so I am just trying to figure out ways over the next week and a half to two weeks that um, I can accomplish these things and be able to rest a little bit more peacefully. So needless to say, these next vlogs are going to be packed with all kinds of stuff. Uh, cooking, cleaning, organizing, decorating, just like frantically getting stuff done that probably would have taken me all spring. But that is not uh, going to be the case. So since I am going to be basically out of commission for six weeks, um, I told you guys in the last vlog kind of what the thought process was for moving forward um, as far as schedule for this channel. Because I found out that I am going to be so limited on what I'm able to do, I think with me batch filming everything to begin with, 
uh, before my surgery, I think I'm going to limit the videos to twice a week. So you're gonna get a vlog and then you're going to get um, the outfits video. Um, just because I don't know that I'm gonna be able to film enough content to cover two weeks or to cover two vlogs for six weeks without um, having like down weeks. And I don't want that. I don't want you guys to not have a video every week. So um, I think that might be what we do, but uh, I'll kind of figure out how much I get done. All right, I'm here to pick up my mom. I am going to um, touch back with you guys here in a little bit or when we get home, just depending on what we are able to accomplish and what I'm able to film and all of that kind of stuff. So, all right, I will see you in a little bit. I think that I'm going to hide it Somewhere by a gate and star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from the I'm play We could be as one and escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel it, it burns inside Take away the pain, we can go insane I can feel it, it burns inside Since I'm in, since 
why people say that obviously I'm back home I'm in the kitchen anyway here we are the kids are home now but I am just getting ready to fix this so this is one of the baskets that you saw uh, that Chloe and I got a few weeks ago for her bedroom so we're gonna go ahead and get that project done and finished today it won't take long at all but these are the baskets that we found at Savers, um, I don't know, Chloe, what was that, like three or four weeks ago now? And so this one needed um, a little TLC. So I am just going to take my hot glue gun and glue this, let it set for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna go upstairs and um, get that project uh, taken care of. This is all glued. And you can still see a little bit of the break, but honestly, we'll just turn it and put this side um, facing the wall and you'll never ever notice. So these are done and ready to go upstairs. So let's go finish that project. In Chloe's room, she has this little section right here where obviously she keeps her books and um, note books and what else is in here? Uh, yearbooks. And so uh, we just wanna try to figure out a way to make it not so cluttered looking. And I think that these baskets are really gonna help. And then um, we just wanna put together the desk a little bit more. We found this picture at Savers a few weeks ago and I think that this goes really great with the colors of her room. And she's in the process of picking this up a little bit. And then um, we should have it all kind of put together. All of that stuff is going to go in this stuff and look a lot better in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you guys um, once we're finished what it looks like.
let me really quick show you the progress that we have made so far. This is what it looks like now. It just looks a lot cleaner, organized, and simple. It's just, I don't know, it's not as um, cluttery. So on the bottom, she has all of her yearbooks. And then this basket right here is all of her Bibles and Bible study stuff. The shelf right here, she's got her headphones. And then these pine cones are ones that she made with one of her favorite babysitters. So she's kept those uh, forever. And then we've just got this little decor thing. And then her watch is over here to charge. And then up here, uh, she's just got a bunch of just random books. And then these up here are devotional or spiritual books. And then over here, we just organized the desk as well. She's got her uh, planner right here that just slips in between these bookends. And then this is her little binder that she writes different notes in when she does her Bible study. And then obviously the picture that we got from Savers. And then uh, in this pot right here, I just need to put a plant in that will kind of hang over the side. And over here, I'm not gonna turn the lights on, she's back there doing homework. But um, over here, we just kind of tidied up this area. And we just need to put a plant in that. And then that is pretty much what we've got going on here. So I would say that we can, um, this basket is just stuff that goes downstairs, but I would say that this project right here is a mark off for sure. Oh, that was loud. And then this right here, cause I know some of you will probably ask is um, just a throw rug that um, we just threw over the back of her chair. So it just kind of hangs all the way around and just adds a little bit of texture to an otherwise um, boring chair. Okie doke. This room is quite the boondoggle. Uh, a lot going on. So you guys saw the uh, tree that I brought up here the other day. I think I'm going to put it in that basket. However, I am not 100% loving like the stem color on this. So I think I'm going to get just some brown paint and just kind of dab around that and just make it a little bit darker. Uh, these curtains are coming down and I am hopeful that I can bring the curtains from the basement up here because those are getting replaced with the ones that you guys saw. I think it was during Vlogmas that I got those. So I want to still use the ones in the basement. I don't want those to go to waste because I really do like them, but I'm going to try and use them up here and I hope that they're not too obnoxiously long. They might pool a tiny bit, but I don't think enough to be like a big deal. Um, okay, so we did this table during Vlogmas to put in the middle of those chairs, and it's just a lot. Um, with that there, and then this over here, it just feel like, I don't know, There, there's not enough breathing space in my opinion. It just feels like a room full of furniture and I do not like that. So I found this coffee table today at Savers for $25 and um, my plan is to put that in the middle of the room and then move this black table down to the basement in the living room. And
and then kind of position the chairs back a little bit closer to the window. That way they're not so far out in the room. And then move that, um, what do I want to call it? Bookshelf, I guess, over in between the chairs. So we shall see <laughs> what that looks like. I hope it all turns out. In my mind, it's all going to turn out, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll find out together. But then over here in this corner, this is where all of those pictures are going that you guys again saw during Vlogmas that I printed off at uh, Office Depot. So I need to get those pictures in the frames that I got which are down there at the bottom of the steps. So I need to take those photos, bring them up here, and then replace these with the pictures that I got and hang those. And what else? Anything else? That pot right there is, I think, going over here on top of the uh, buffet. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different with the books. I think I'm just going to decorate with only books on this um, bookcase right here. We'll see how it turns out. I have an idea in my mind and I hope it works. And then what else, Pi? I think that that's going to be it. So. I think we can knock this out really quick. What time does Christian's clock say? Uh, 5.30, okay. I think we can knock out a little bit of this before I need to start getting supper ready. At least uh, maybe moving the uh, little bookcase over there into the middle, moving the chairs around, and then positioning the coffee table. That way it's not like right there. <laughs> when you walk up here at least we can get that moved around and then maybe even get the stuff put on the coffee table that goes there so that things just look a little bit cleaner around here and not such a cluster so let's see what we can accomplish in like 15 minutes your face it is written across your face if you want to talk i'm right here not gonna leave your side just feel free to open up when the moment's right across your face it is written across your face if you want to go out we can go out you can hide away just for one night but if you want to cry just let it out i'm by your side Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night Alright, it's 5.48 And this is the progress that we have made so far I like it I was thinking that I was going to put the, um pot over on the buffet but I don't know like I like it on the coffee table the only problem that I really see is that it is totally blocking 
the uh, bookcase and you can't see anything behind it because it's so full. So I'm now kind of thinking maybe I will put that on top of the bookcase and then maybe move at least two of the candlesticks over onto the coffee table and then see what that looks like. So let's see. How about we, mm, let's move these two off. And then let's move this guy totally off for the moment. I don't even know that we need the candlestick over there because I think it would just not look quite right. And then let's just kind of fluff this a little bit. There we go. Okay. My land about fell on my pumpkin backing up there. Okay. So I think that that looks a hundred percent better. And then right here, how about we just put these like right here. Perfect, okay. And then we may not even need that last one. So I have a uh, light, a um, table lamp. I don't remember if I showed you guys or not. I got it a few weeks ago at Savers but I wanted to kind of DIY it just a little bit with some uh, rub and buff and make it more black than brown. And so what I was kind of thinking was I can move that lamp right here out of here. Um, I can utilize that downstairs and then I could put the lamp over there in that corner um, and then just kind of use it as like a nightlight type of situation for up here, uh, like on a timer. Christian does not like these lights on uh, at night because it literally shines directly into his bedroom uh, and right into his eyeball. So I can't have those up here, but if I have a more subtle lamp over there, I think I could easily have it on a timer and just like one of those kind of yellow evening lights, uh, light bulbs. And I think that that would look a lot better. So after supper, I think I'm going to come back up here, move these around, put the lamp over there. I don't think I'll be able to DIY it tonight. Actually, I'm not even gonna try to DIY it tonight. At this point, I just kind of wanna get everything where it belongs. And then um, I can do the DIYs later. I am not loving this corner over here, obviously, but we haven't even really touched it, so I'm not super concerned about that. But I think that we are definitely making progress. These little stools, um, I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do with them because I really, really like them. I just don't think that they ever really fit for what we needed this room to be. This is crooked and it's driving me insane. So I don't know. I, I'm i having a moment with those because I really, I really did love those. But if I try to put them here, as you saw, it's just, it's too cluttered. Like there's there's no point. Basically the coffee table is the footrest. So that's kind of sad, but I also don't want a cluttered room. So, you know, there's that too. So here's the plan. We, as in me, <laughs> I talk to you guys as if you're like here. Um, I am going to go and make supper. We're going to eat. I have a Zoom call that I have to get on to 
after supper for, um, I'm on the planning committee for Christian senior class trip next year. So I need to get on that call. And then after that, I am going to come back up here and at least move around the lamps and kind of get them where I want them to go and get the timer set on those. And then I think I am going to maybe recruit Sam uh, when he gets home to help me move the curtains from the basement up here and cross my fingers that they will work. Uh, and then at least like the big major things will be done up here. And the rest of it is just more so like cosmetic, you know, little detail-y aesthetic type things, but not like big major decor stuff. So I'm happy with what we have accomplished so far. And um, I will bring you guys back up here with me after all of my other obligations tonight. And we'll see what we can finish before bedtime. My meeting is over and I came up here and got a few things done right before, but I didn't have a chance to show you. But over here, I have kind of got this styled and I know the lighting is just really ratchet up here at night. So I'm sorry, I'll have to show it to you more in the morning. Uh, when it doesn't have such a yellow tone, but I need to get a lampshade for that lamp. And then I want to rub uh, ebony rub and buff on the um, like brown part of this. I love the black part, but I'm not really digging the brown part as much um, just because it gets washed out next to the brown wood. And then I've got this frame right here. Uh, that I got from Savers and then I just have it in this metal like easel thing here. I still need to find a picture from Google to put in there. And then I have uh, my candlesticks here. I need to get two more batteries for that one. And I don't know, I might change the color of the candlesticks just because again, brown on brown, it just gets very lost. Uh, that picture frame picture is gonna have to be pretty bright so that it doesn't just totally disintegrate next to um, the buffet. And then over here, I got this done before I hopped on my call and I'm really liking what it looks like. This you guys saw in my fall decor, the basket that is which I absolutely love. Uh, this was thrifted. And then I just dumped in some, um, what do you call these, rocks. <laughs> and then I put in these fake succulents from Hobby Lobby um, that I've had for a long time. But I mean, I have these things constantly. And then over here, I just have this uh, artichoke that was on the bookcase for my fall decor. And then I've got that little uh, faux plant. And then my candlesticks. Um, I like the white just because they kind of stand out against all of the other dark colors up here. I need to put some putty in this one right here so that it will um, not tip like that. And then I think I found the perfect place for these stools so that I don't need to try to find another place or um, even worse, get rid of them. I like that it just kind of uh, really simply joins that side of the room with the side of the tree without, um, you know, like being too heavy or just looking like there's literally furniture on every wall. I feel like because they're small and uh, you can see through the bottom of the legs, I just think that it makes it um, still airy enough to work in the space. So I'm loving that. I took these picture frames here and I got the old pictures uh, taken out. I'm not gonna tip it over here because, oh, there we go. Um, so I took these out and I'm gonna throw those away. They're kind of disintegrating. 
but I did need to save the backs of these so that I can put the other pictures in. And then those pictures up there are coming down and we'll put the new uh, photos in there. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to like lay these pictures out because there's five of them, but we'll figure that out. And then um, Christian and Chloe brought the drapes up from the basement and I'm going to uh, see if I can get those hung up there really quick. And then we will be making some pretty amazing progress. Like I just might be able to get this almost finished tonight. Um, over here, I needed to order some moss from uh, Walmart. So I stuffed it with those uh, plastic like Amazon packing things or whatever you call them that I showed you guys the other day that I used in the ones in the living room. And then I'll just cover the tops of these with the moss. So that is where we are right now. I'm going to see if I can't get these pictures uh, cut out and put in the frames. I I don't know what time is it. Ooh, it's 9.38. Okay. Um, top priority, I would say... Mm, top priority might not be the frames tonight. Top priority might be the... Uh, drapes. So let me see if I can't scrounge somebody up to help me with that. And then I think we might call it a night and just finish uh, the rest of this stuff tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Friday. It is mascara Friday because that is the only thing that I'm giving the world today. <laughs> I feel like the world's gotten a lot of makeup from me lately and I'm kind of over it really. Uh, last night it got a little bit too late for me to show the progress here because this area is where uh, Christian and Chloe traffic at night, getting ready for bed and all of that. And I didn't get done until like real close to 10 or a little bit after. And so I wanted to respect their trying to get to bed and um, not take up even more time by walking through and showing you guys what had been accomplished. So. I'm going to show you that today and then um, we'll kind of go over what I still want to try to get done today along with what I need to get done today. I have been doing so much laundry already this morning just because uh, since I've been like back and forth between doctor's appointments this week, I haven't been able to do laundry. <laughs> so I think I had like nine loads of laundry this morning. Um, the kids have had stuff all going on and none of us have been able to do anything uh, laundry related. It's just been, it's been a diddle. So uh, needless to say, I want to go ahead and kind of put together a routine before my surgery so that everybody kind of knows, hey, like this is how our laundry system is going to need to flow for the next six weeks because I'm not going to be able to do it. Like I told you guys the other day, I can fold socks and washcloths and underwear, but we don't even really fold those here in this house. We just pitch them in a bucket. So there's that. But um, we need to get something a little bit more <laughs> concrete if we're all going to have clean clothes to wear. So anyway, totally uh, chased a squirrel on that. But let me go ahead and show you kind of uh, what has been accomplished and Kind of where I'm headed right now. Um, I need to go pick up a order from um, Walmart, my grocery order, and in that I've got some Velcro strips that I need to hang these with as well. So we'll get those up um, and then I'm hoping to maybe do this lamp over here that I showed you because I have also in that Walmart order a lampshade that I'm hoping is going to work uh, sight unseen. So we'll see. All right, so on this side, nothing has really changed. Uh, that picture's obviously not going there, but I just kind of have it out of the way so that the dogs don't come up here and accidentally jump on it or something. But um, I've got the curtains up, which I think they look great. Like I'm so happy with them. They still allow this space to be very open, 
Um, there's obviously a lot of windows and whatever, and I like the fact that they're just a couple shades darker than the wall color. So it doesn't start to close in the room. It just kind of allows it to still feel uh, bright and airy. And so I really like that. I think that um, those are gonna work great. They are longer than I want them to be. Even if I were to pool them, I don't, I don't like that look, first of all. And I certainly don't like it with that much extra fabric. So I think what I'm going to try and do today is pin it either with a stick pin behind it just to basically tack it or like a safety pin, something like that until my mother-in-law can get here who actually knows how to run a sewing machine. Uh, my mom does, but with her rheumatoid arthritis, it just um, it's just too hard for her. So I'm not even going to uh, ask her because I don't want her to feel bad when she has to tell me no. So I'm just, um, I'm just going to wait for Sam's mom and, um, let her do that when she comes. Cause she's always asking like what she can do to help. And that would be the perfect thing. So I'm just going to kind of tack them up that way it gets them off the floor and they don't look so frumpy, but overall, I really, really like the look of that. Um, I swapped these out from what I showed you, uh, earlier last night. I found some white ones downstairs. And so, looks like I got a piece of Chloe's hair on there. Um, what I did was I have one, I need to get some uh, putty and stick in there. But I have uh, this one here that is kind of cream. And then this one that is white. And so I just kind of have the two tones there. I know against that window, it's a little bit harder to see probably. But then over here, I have the same situation. And I like that because it just kind of gives two different tones to it and everything's not so matchy-matchy. You guys know I don't love a lot of matchy-matchy, but um, I think that that works really, really well. And then last thing in my Walmart order today is some moss. And so I got that so that I can uh, go ahead and cover up the top of that basket. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to um, recolor the stem today, but definitely that needs to get done because I don't like the color of that. I think that that makes the plant look cheap. And otherwise, I really, really like the naturalness of the plant, but that part, that's not my vibe, so. And then I found this finally this morning when I was looking. I knew I had it somewhere and I, Put it in a place that didn't even make a lick of sense but i found it and put that up here and i actually like that a whole lot better than the artichoke so all in all really all that we need to do is get these pictures framed up on the wall once we get our 3m strips and then the lampshade will be over there and then just tack up the curtains and oh i need to I mean, this isn't like an absolute necessity today. Although, like, have we met me? Um, I need to find a picture on Google for this frame right here. And then I feel like I may need something right there. I don't know, we'll see. Um, we're not gonna get super into the detail right now because like we've got some bigger things over in that corner that need to get done. But I think we can actually like wrap this up today and get this 100% uh, complete, which would feel super duper great. Um, I'm still loving the green stools in front of the window. I think that that is a really great place for them. And I'm so excited that I get to keep them still because I love them. I love that color. I just love the cutesiness of it. And I um, just think that they really add a really big part to this room and just kind of finishing that side of the room. So. That is what we're dealing with right now. Really quick, I want to take you um, to the dining room and show you my recent uh, savers purchases. Um, I got quite a few things yesterday on my trip there. This is actually, where's my finger? <laughs> 
that is actually my new donation pile, uh, the green, white, and jeans on the bottom. Those actually are a return. That didn't, that didn't work for me and uh, the pants didn't um, work for Christian. But then right here, those are all things that I bought yesterday because, and I've already washed them all because I couldn't like wait to film and then um, not be able to show you guys and get even farther behind on my laundry and, and all of the things. So I cannot have anything that goes over my head. I can't like reach back behind to put something on. So everything that I wear has to either zip up the front or uh, like button up the front. So I found a lot of like zip up sweatshirts that I didn't otherwise have uh, for a really good price. And then a couple um, like oversized button up shirts. And so I think that those are gonna work really well, but I did want to touch base with a few of you um, since I'm here in the kitchen and I haven't put my cardigan on yet. I have had quite a few of you reach out to me privately and ask about the biopsy, kind of how that goes. Um, some of you have said that it has been suggested to you to get a biopsy and you were too nervous to do so. And I just wanna tell you, please be braver than the pain because if in fact you do have something and it's going untreated, that, that could mean a whole lot of really bad things in the end. And we can do really hard things. And honestly, the biopsy is uncomfortable, but I wouldn't say that it's painful. Um, it's, so you know when you go into the dentist and before you have something done on your tooth, like if you're getting a cavity filled or whatever, they do that little shot of Novocaine. And when that initially goes into your gums, like it's not painful, but it's uncomfortable. Like it's a little sharp, you know, pinch feeling or whatever. That is what it feels like when they uh, start to numb the area that they are doing the biopsy on. So I'm going to put you on the tripod really fast and I just want to show you the little mark. Um, it's not going to be inappropriate or anything, obviously, but I just want to show you kind of the little tiny bruise that was left in the area that they did the biopsy. That way, those of you that are in your head about it, which believe me, I I get what being in your head feels like. Um, I just wanna kind of put some of those fears at rest for you so that you can be more assured in yourself that you can do hard things and you can do that and it will be so much better for you in the end. So hold on just one second. Okay, so really quick, let me just show you. By the way, this is my uh, shirt that I got from Ross in Nashville. <laughs> I love it. And it's not as low as I thought it was gonna be, but it's a perfect shirt to show you what, what I was gonna show you. So right here is the little incision that they poked the um, needle in to do the biopsy and they numb this whole area right here and they put the needle in that then the little tubes, you know, kind of go in and, and do what they need to do. But it just left a really tiny little, um, just bruise right there. And it hasn't bothered me a whole lot. You know, I will say kind of the most frustrating part about the whole thing wasn't even the pain as much as it was like the irritation that that is literally right where your strap hits. And so a couple days after when like all of the um, numbing stuff has worn off, you're like, oh yeah, that's where it was because now, you know, the strap is kind of rubbing up against that, but it's not a constant pain. It's more just like certain ways that you move or whatever, you're like, oh, well, let me readjust that. And it's fine, but please, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you enough. Like, had I not done that, I would be walking around, like I said before, having absolutely no idea. So please, 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 
be braver than the pain because it's not even painful. It's just discomfort, like hitting your funny bone or, you know, stubbing your toe or something like that. Like it comes and it goes and it's fine. And you can move forward then in whatever direction you need to move um, to get the best care possible. And it may be absolutely nothing, but it may be absolutely something. So better to know and be able to treat it early than to not know and then be in an even worse situation. Okay, Piper saw a squirrel. Let me pipe her down and then I'll show you my saver stuff in the dining room. So really, really quick, let's go over this. Uh, these are not, none of these things here are from savers. These are just things that I brought up from the basement that I think I'm going to use in here. Uh, okay, so this I got for, and again, all of these things were 20% off because I had my coupon. Plus, I actually had um, a credit there, so it was even cheaper than that. But I got these two candlesticks that I'm going to put up on the buffet with those two candlesticks that I showed you the other day. But then I think I'm also going to work these two in as well, which is why I have uh, these candles here from the basement. And then I found this pot that um, I think I'm gonna use in one of the bathrooms. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to use it in yet, but I think it's gonna go in one. I got this for Chloe's room. I thought that she would really like that. It just totally looks like her. Um, it's washing out a little bit in here, but it's like a super, super pale blush color. But then I thought that it would be really cute with these uh, faux tulips. These are from Amazon. I will link them uh, in my storefront. Obviously, I'm gonna have to deal with um, the height of that just so that they lay a little bit better, but I think that'll be really cute like on that stool next to her couch. And then I found this lavender bush I absolutely love the vase on this. This was $14.99 minus 20% off. And I'm going to put this next to the stove where I had um, the, the little pine tree or whatever uh, during Christmas. This is gonna go over there. So I'm really excited about that. And then I found this really cool candlestick for, what does that say, $1.99? And then I've got this um, frame right here that I got uh, for upstairs where that little easel is um, on the buffet. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or the one that is already up there. We'll kind of play around with it and see which one looks better in that space. And then this right here I got for the basement. Uh, coffee table. I'm just going to put some greenery in that. And then this right here, I got um, for one of the bathrooms also. This was $8.50. I wonder, is there a brand on this? Oh, Kirkland's. Where's, where's the bottom? There we are. Kirkland's for $16.99. Still has the tag on it. So, really great buy. And then last, I found this for one of the bathrooms as well. Um, obviously, I am really into green. <laughs> you guys have kind of sensed that lately. Uh, but then these are probably my favorite purchase um, of what I got. And they're these really tiny gold salt and pepper shakers that I'm not going to use um, for salt and pepper. But really quick, we can... We can do this super fast and I'll show you how I'm going to style them because it's literally going to take me two seconds to do. And let me show you. I've got some water from an Instacart order. And then let's see. All right. I am just going to put these right here and we're styled. <laughs> but I think those look really, really cute right there. It brings out like a pop of the gold that we kind of go for in here. Don't mind the rags and the towels um, on the counters. But 
I think that that looks super, super cute in this space and just kind of ties everything together. Uh, really quick, we can actually put up that lavender tree as well. And let's just get a couple things done really fast here. Then we don't have to come back and do it. So my intent is to replace the decor pineapple. There's all Piper's meds. Let's take off the tag. And boom. <laughs> that is done. I need to cut this this afternoon. Let's move this because that's not cute. See? And there, I think that looks fabulous. I love it. Uh, I'm working on this over here as far as like what I want it to look like. This is my uh, butter crock. I'm toying around with the idea of keeping it like that or lifting it on a pedestal and kind of making it look more like um, a bird's nest type of situation. So we'll see, we'll, we'll come back to that. But I really like the way that the lavender uh, bush kind of ties everything together right here. So I would say that that is a win-win. All right, so really quick, I am going to run to Walmart, pick up all of that stuff, bring it back, and then we'll put the moss in where it belongs, the lampshades, and then we'll have the 3M strips so that we can hang the pictures on the wall since I can't do fractions. It's like the best thing ever, ever invented for decorators that, um, don't know how to do fractions. So I will meet you guys back here in just a little bit.